when did the play Life is a Dream come to you as an idea, uh, as the subject for your opera? In the spring of 1975, uh, a dear mentor of mine, Yehudi Weiner, who was at Yale when I was in graduate school, uh, had said to me two or three years before that, you are a dramatic composer. <laughs> and at the time, all I was doing was worrying about uh, structural things, and I, I didn't, I said, oh, well, good, good to know that. He actually saw some potential in my music, I think, because in 1975, he recommended me to the director of the New Haven Opera Theater, Hertha Glatz Redlich, um, with whom Yehudi had worked quite a bit. Uh, she was looking for a commission, uh, or uh, looking for someone to commission to do a piece for the New Haven Opera Theater. And um, we made an appointment in New Haven, and within 10 minutes, after I had arrived there, she placed in my hands a script for La Vida es Sueño. Took it home and read it from cover to cover that night and said, bingo. I mean, the first time I went through it, it just was turning into an opera before my eyes, wow. uh, page after page. Has these magnificent set pieces in it that are just arias waiting to be sung. Mm -hmm. um, and I was absolutely sure as of that night that I wanted it. I didn't even look for any other uh, piece. So when so you turned to compose Life is a Dream, what were the first things that you wrote? Did you work from small ideas and then build out, or how did you attack it? The very first thing I wrote was Segismundo's first aria in the piece, because it seemed to me that that was the, the nut that had to be cracked here. Who is, what is this guy doing out here in this wilderness with chains on? He's been discovered by some people, um, and utterly mean circumstances um, and it's his sort of cry to the heavens why 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 have you done this to me uh, that is the it's just the big you know that's what this piece is about it, 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 his father has done it to him as it turns out but in the interest of what the stars told him to do um, but I, I, I that I felt like I just had to nail that expression. He's always, it, there's a lot of sort of this mm. shape. In, in the vocal you, lines. Swooping up, falling down yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a Sisyphus yeah. pushing the rock up, right. you know. I mean, uh, whoops, Very visual. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, with freedom, da 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 da